Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine Not YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about gastroesophageal reflex disease. This is known as GERD, G E R D. The reflex of gastric content into the esophagus, resulting in inflammation of the esophagus. The gastric content which is present in the stomach is comes to the esophagus, so that that is inflammation of esophagus. It is caused by H plus ion, pepsin, and bile salts. Now we will see the etiopathogenesis. In normal condition, due to spicy and oily heavy meals, causes relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter. That is relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter, so that due to spicy and oily heavy meals, so that it may leads to the gastroesophageal reflex disease. In diseased condition, there is inflammation of the esophagus. This increases the reflex of gastric content, stays longer for the longer period in the esophagus, so that there is lower mucosal resistance. It is a normal condition and it is due to the inflammation of the esophagus. It is due to the eating of spicy and oily food. Now we will see the mechanism. Impaired tone of LOS, lower esophageal sphincter. When the tone of the lower esophageal sphincter is impaired, it is due to hiatus hernia, diabetes, surgery, esophageal and prolonged nasal gastric incubation. And loss of tone fails to increase when the intra-abdominal pressure rises. The LOS, LOS means lower esophageal sphincter tone fails to increase when the intra-abdominal pressure rises. The lower uh, esophageal tone increases, fails to increase when the lower esophageal tone fails to increase when the intra-abdominal pressure rises. In the conditions like obesity, pregnancy and ascites. In reduction of lower esophageal sphincter tone, impaired esophageal mucosal resistance due to smoking and alcohol, delayed gastric emptying, ready gastric content to the reflex. Now we will see the precipitating factors of this GERD. Old age, smoking, hiatus hernia, raised intra-abdominal pressure, obesity and sedentary habit. These are the precipitating factors of the GERD. Now we will see the clinical features. Age like middle aged individual, sex obese, female as well as it is, happens mostly in females. Age is due to the middle aged individuals. The, now we will see the signs and symptoms. The first and major sign is heartburns which is also known as pyrosis and regurgitation. There is acidic taste and erosion of the incisors due to the regurgitation. Stenosis, dysphagia which is difficult in swallowing. Chronic cough and harshness of voice is seen. These are the signs and symptoms of the GERD. Now we will see about the diagnosis. Endoscopy, barium swallow method, manometry and continuous 24 hours gastric intraluminal pH monitoring. This is the ideal and it is mostly done for this disease to diagnose whether GERD is not are there. Which is continuous 24 hour gastric intraluminal pH monitoring. Manometry, barium swallowing method and endoscopy. These are also a diagnosis method but the, but the most important method is this intraluminal pH monitoring. Now we will see the treatment. The lifestyle changes. You should quit the alcohol and smoking habit. You should decrease the uh, weight and decrease the uh, of spicy foods. Avoid analgesics. Due to drugs also this disease might come. Analgesic, avoid anti-inflammatory drug. The drug given are to cure this are proton pump inhibitor which is omniprazole 20 mg and the H2 blockers which is rantidin given 150 mg. These are the drugs which are given for treatment of the GERD. Thank you. If you like this video please do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any doubt in it please do comment it. If you want any other topic to suggest please do suggest in the comment box. Thank you. Subscribe my video.